everyone, it's Denise Reed and welcome back to my channel, Bramble Reed. If you're looking for all things paper mache, you have come to the right channel. This week we're going to be looking at how to make the paper mache clay recipe and the porcelain clay recipe and this is how I've combined the two together. So if you want to see how I create this recipe, keep on watching. The best creative DIY and craft content, subscribe to my channel and be sure to hit that bell to be notified when I upload a post every Tuesday. I have a Facebook page that is dedicated to DIY crafts that you are able to join and now it's your turn. This week guys we're going to be making the paper mache clay recipe and the porcelain clay recipe combined together. So what I'm trying to do this time is I want to use my cornstarch but I want to heat it up so that it's translucent before I start and then you're just going to put it in and just keep turning it around, right? So I do have talcum powder and I have this um, Kiwon clay. When making porcelain clay you need cornstarch which we have the cornstarch here. You need cornstarch and glue and you mix it together on the fire. What I want to do is I want to try and add a little bit of the cornstarch and the plaster of Paris and see how that works. Yeah, yeah, I think maybe that, that's enough. Okay, and then we're gonna add the wet cornstarch. I'm gonna put it on the, in the, instead of putting it in the bowl, I'm gonna put it in here first. So right now we're gonna put it back on the stove and we're gonna heat it up. We have the cornstarch and the plaster of Paris. Now here is the paper mache portion that I've dried. I'm gonna drain it out because I don't want it this wet. I'm gonna add it and just make sure it's broken apart. Here is the glue. And the glue is mixed. It has white glue and clear glue. And that's just because I, um, I didn't have complete clear glue, which kind of messed up my recipe because I wanted it all to be clear. But you see the, the plaster of Paris did, um, change the color from clear anyhow to a white foggy color. Okay. So I'm just going to mix this around and then I'm going to put it back on the stove. So remember this is the first time that I'm making it. Just trying something out, mixing the two together. And the one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try some of this Kiyong. I'm going to put some of this clay in here. I'm gonna put in a little teensy wincy bit, about that much. And then we're gonna put this on the stove. When you're taking this off of the stove, you see how this is not that sticky? You literally are gonna take it off. That's what you want. You don't want it too sticky. You want it so that it's firm and then all you're going to do is you're gonna take it, add a little bit more paper mache, add a little bit more starch down below and let me know have you ever used the plaster of Paris or the Keylon clay when you're trying to make your porcelain clay or paper mache. 
Now you do have to wait until it cools down. So next week we're going to make something with these, but this is alcohol ink. I want to just try what the alcohol ink looks like and the oil, like oil base is better because it won't, um, it won't damage. But this alcohol ink, I got it. I didn't make it. The last time I used alcohol ink, I actually made it. So I wanna see what this one looks like. Now that you know how to make the paper mache clay recipe and the porcelain clay recipe, I have written a guide on different designing platforms that will help you take your creative juices out of your head and put on a digital platform. I have included a list of tutorials that will help you understand these platforms better. You can download the guide at the link in the description box. Also, if you are looking for a group of creative minds like yourself, I do have that Facebook page where you are able to upload different creative crafts. You can check out the link in the description box. Check out any of my tutorials next or my upcoming tutorial that will be posted next Tuesday. If you like this week's video, hit that like button. Be sure to comment and share the content with your family and friends. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Take care.